What's kicking, little kitten? In this video, I'm gonna wreck the track using sounds only of this cheap children's synthesizer, starting from this into this. And what I was trying to say that sometimes the instruments don't matter because music lives here and here. Here is your practice, your experience and your skills and here love and only your wish to make something beautiful and truthful. <laughs> So I decided to challenge myself and see if I can process the sounds using different effects, reverb, delay and so on and create more professional and rich sound. <laughs> okay. So moving on to the Ableton Live. Okay, let's start with some synth. It. 6 to 9 Ooh. Let's go with the sound Put uh, my master rack. I like to create music here in big and massive sound. And of course, reverb. I'm using Valhalla Vintage. Okay. Yeah. Let's do some chords. I think we will start with these chords. We'll do some magic with it. This and let's do shimmer. Yeah. Okay. Freeze track with these effects. And then flat turn. So now we have these wet chords. And we do this little thing, reverse. Okay. The first one, I think, should be like this. And maybe next one, two. So this is our beginning and we'll and let's use compressor. Okay. Just duplicate. <laughs> and what I don't like in this sound that it has this uh, synthetic sounds will use auto filter and cut high frequencies. Yeah, like this. Yeah, and I think that this lead should be not that sharp, so we'll do things like that. finish here next 
next, let's find some drum button. Whoa! What you gonna do to me? Say What you gonna do to do to do? <laughs> this will be a bonus track. I think this is pretty good. What's oh no, no. No. Drums are blue, always blue. Don't ask me why. And I will show you the building magic plugin for drums, drum bus. This is compressor and it makes drums sound like, I don't know, it's very good drum machine. <laughs> Let's try it. Yeah. Boom. I need more kick. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I should say, after this drum bus, it sounds not that bad. Once again, without drum bus. Oh, now we need bass. Bass is green. Let's try to record this one. Let's cut uh, high frequencies. Not bad. And I would like to use guitar rig. recorded two samples maybe for different parts maybe we can try guitar rig on this lead This is crazy, but I actually like it. Let's wreck it. Just kick. I will do like this. I will just delete the snare. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's duplicate 
And I think the second part will be with full drums. You know what? I forgot about pets. How could I? I like reverb and I like pets. This is the only thing that I need. Maybe in strings. Let's listen to the strings. No. Sorry. Let's do ooh. Let's try this filter M20, it's a Turia. I think uh, we need some arpeggiator, so I will find some interesting sound and then we will sample it. Maybe some mm, brass, I don't know. No. I think this will be okay. We will just record one, only one sound. Let's consolidate and now we will use sampler just drop it here the root note was C so we're not changing anything here and now let's use arpeggiator in MIDI effect yes you see I'm not using MIDI keyboards I'm just a little bit cheating but I think it's okay because the sound is still from the synthesizer. Okay. <laughs> but not the full part without this beep beep yeah. and here don't do don't I should add some percussion, maybe some hi-hat. Maybe we can record some pattern, then we can cut some interesting sound. Yeah. Ok, 
Okay, I know what this track needs. The rise and the harmonies. <laughs> Once again, let's do the reverse pianos. Maybe we won't use mm, this hi hat here and only start from here. Something more, I don't know what, but let's listen to other sounds. Again, let's try some effects from guitar rig. Once again, I need to cut some high frequencies. Okay, for now I think the demo is ready. I will show you my standard master rack. Usually I'm using it when I'm writing some demos. So it's not the final mixing, but everything just sounds much better. So let's listen to it. Okay, first of all is EQ. I cut this unwanted low and high frequencies and also this uh, low middle. A little bit compress. Little bit saturation uh, here in the high frequencies. Next one is a major, it adds stereo width. And of course, the limiter. Okay, I think that's all. Let's listen to the full track.
Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was useful for you. Write in comments what do you think about challenges like this. Maybe next time I will take uh, another children's synthesizer Yamaha and we will try to write another track. Don't forget... <laughs> Don't... Oh my god, you are so pretty little kitty. So please subscribe to my channel. You can find the other useful videos about music production. Also, there are interesting reverse covers when I'm turning major into minor and vice versa. Also, listen to my original songs. So, my name is Marion. Good luck and good karma. <laughs>